Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you 4 ways to use test data in your K6 load script and please remember that the one regarding shared arrays will be the most efficient one. Test data is the information designed to be used by the test script during execution. Using different values for certain parameters will make the test more realistic. Common use cases for test data might be usernames and passwords, emails, addresses, product names, and so on. As a starting point, I will be using a basic scenario, and instead of sending API requests, I will simply use console logs. I will copy-paste this template for each method that I am going to show you. The simplest way to add test data is using arrays. I am going to define two arrays for usernames and passwords. The next step is creating a random variable that we can use to randomly pick a value from these arrays. Let's use a console log to see the results. Let's run the script and see what happens. K6 run arrays.js As you can see, for each request we are going to pick random data. Simple, isn't it? Let's move to the second approach that implies using data from a JSON file. I already created this file and it contains a list of users with username and password. Let's get started from the same template script. Create a constant called JSON data. That's going to use our JSON file.
create again the random variable to spare time I will copy paste it from the previous example however we need to slightly modify it it will be random json data dot length and let's copy paste the console dot log as well json data random dot user name and the same goes for the password json data random dot password k6 run json example great it used the data that we created in the data.json file json underline admin and json underline test let's move to the third example copy paste the template script and the third example is around csv files in this case we already created a data.csv file that contains a username and a password column with three sets of data Here we need to import a library, import PAPAPARSE from jslib.k6.io 5.1.1.1 create a csv data constant equals okay and let's copy paste the random variable and also the cancel log from the previous JSON example. In this case, we also need to update the value of the random variable with csv data dot length and the same goes for the console log as well csv data random dot username and csv data random dot password save the file and let's run the script k6 run csv example and it works like a charm
Okay, last but not least approach is regarding shared arrays. Basically, the shared array approach must be combined with any of the previous approaches and it's the most efficient way to add data within a K6 test because it handles the high resource utilization in the most efficient way. The reason is that in the previous approaches, when a file is used in a test, multiple copies of the files are created and sent to the load generator. When the file is large, it can have an impact on the resources. Hence, to prevent this, shared array approach should be a go-to option. As I said, it must be combined with any of these already presented approaches. Copy-paste the template and let's see how we can do this. I am copy pasting the entire JSON example and add the shared array approach as a wrapper on the existing code. So we just need to import shared array from K6 slash data. The second step implies creating a shared data constant. Shared credentials with a callback. And here we will have data extracted from our JSON file. Data equals json.parse and we are going to delete this line of code. And here don't forget to return data. Moving on to our default function, we still need this random value that is going to use shared data dot length. And in the console, we are going to use shared data random username and shared data random password. That's it. Save the file and run the test. As you can see, all the test data have been provided from our JSON file. Simple, isn't it? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Happy testing!